back to another video. Um, this is the match reaction for Rotherham vs Swansea and it's finished um, at the New York Stadium. Rotherham United 1, Swansea City 3. Obviously I'd be surprised when Luke's not here and um, he's busy doing work. Um, so we can't make this video so it'll be just me for this one. But um, we'll be back for the Norwich preview and Norwich match reaction next week for definite. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So um, obviously starting off with my thoughts about the game as a whole. Um, I thought, you know, first half we were really dominant. Two great strikes from Horahan and Grimes. Obviously that's two and two now for Horahan and three and three for Grimes in all competitions. Um, and I think they, they those two complement uh, each other really well. Since the arrival of Horahan, Grimes has been playing better as well. And Horahan's helped the team a lot. Um, not just scoring, but also with creativity in his passes as well. And I thought he played really well today. Um, it was another great performance from the whole team. Um, and now... We got Norwich in a week um, on Friday, so if we win that, we'll close the gap to one on them, so it'll be really good. So hopefully, hopefully we can win that, but a draw would be decent, but we need to win to try and close the gap. And then Brentford won 7-2 to today, which was a massive result for them, it was 2-2 two -two at some point. I was hoping we could going to hold on, because then that means even if Brentford won their game in hand, that they would uh, still be behind us. But um, yeah, it was a good result for us. Um, and hopefully now we can use it to push forward um, and hopefully pick up some more results now. Uh, we're still unbeaten in the league uh, in 2021, um, so that's a great start. Um, 14 wins in the season now for us, um, only four losses, so I'm hoping that we can uh, win against Norwich and try and close the gap on them because obviously they're top. Um, but yeah, um, now on to player ratings. So Woodman, um, he had a good performance, but didn't get a clean sheet, which we'll be disappointed about, so I'll give him six. Still a solid performance, though. And then uh, the wing-backs, Roberts and Bidwell, I thought they both played really well as well, putting some balls in, so I'll give them both a seven. Uh, the centre-backs were solid. Bennett, I'd give him a six. Gwehi, I'd give him a six. And Cabango would probably give a seven, because I saw a bit more Cabango than the other two. Um, and then in midfield, it's Grimes and Horahan. Give them both an eight, uh, both picking up a goal. Dander, I'd give a seven. I thought he was creative, but lacked a bit of movement sometimes. Um, going forward um, and then up front it was I even low they both had really quiet games surprisingly but pff, I'm going to give them both a 6 they weren't bad but just weren't in the game very much and then um, the players that came on it was Fulton I'm going to give him a 7 because he came on and got a goal and also Jordan Morris as well gets his uh, first appearance for the club um, I thought he thought he was alright we didn't really see much of him but he was decent I'll give him a 5 he wasn't bad he wasn't great had a few touches, but hopefully more to come from him anyway. And now finally on to my man of the match. So it's really tough, but I'm gonna go with I'm gonna give it to uh, I'm gonna give it to Matt Grimes because close between him and Horahan, but um he played well um as well as the goal, so did Horahan as well, but I'd edge it to Grimes. Uh, some great passes, some great interceptions, balls over the top, and that finish as well. What a finish that was. Uh corner, comes straight back out, hits it. Most players would just blaze it over the bar, but he kept it down low. Um, swerved as well, bottom corner, uh, bottom left corner, and um, yeah, it was just a great finish and he played really well. But anyway, that's it for this video, and we'll be back uh, for the preview for Norwich uh, next Friday. We'll be uploading on Thursday, obviously, the day before the game, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.